Welcome back to Fact Franzi Girl, where we explore fascinating stories and incredible facts that will leave you amazed. Today, we are diving into a world of extraordinary abilities and superpowers that were acquired after life-altering accidents. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready to be amazed. The boy on your screens grew up to be a very bad student in Alaska who constantly had to redo grades. As a high school student, he spent his life partying until one fateful night he was attacked and brutally beaten outside a karaoke bar. They managed to save him, but when he woke up, Jason saw the world in a new way. All the objects in front of his eyes were pixelated and made up of different geometric shapes. Even light or running water he saw as small tangent lines. After a lot of research, he came up with the mathematical term fractal, which perfectly describes the way he sees the world. Neuroscience describes his condition as acquired genius syndrome or fusion. It is a special perception in which different senses mix in the brain. These people can hear smells, smell colors, or even see the world of sounds, as strange as it may sound. Can you imagine seeing the world differently like Jason? Moving on to our next incredible case. Now I'll introduce you to a boy whose superpower is entirely physical and is as if it came out of a Marvel movie. Nikolai Kriagliachenko is 12 years old when one day on his way home from school, he stops for a break by a street lamp. Unluckily though, a short circuit happens and he gets electrocuted so hard he flies backward down the street. When he fully recovers from the shock, he realizes that his body has gained super strength. He is now fully magnetized. The 12-year-old boy is utterly thrilled with his new talent and starts doing all sorts of experiments. His main audience is his classmates, as none of them suspect that he can transfer his abilities to others, turning them into human magnets. His whole family gets it this way. Now let's explore the power of music. Two unfortunate accidents gift a musical superpower to two very ordinary people. The first is Tony Kikoria, who manages to cheat death not once but several times after a motorcycle accident falling into a swamp are ligatures and even heroin addiction. Until one night, he tries to call his mother from a street phone and gets struck by lightning. His heart stops, but luckily there is a nurse nearby who manages to save his life. After a few days in the hospital, an unexplained symptom appears. He feels the overwhelming urge to listen to and play music on the piano. It should be noted that he has never liked classical music and has never touched a piano. Tony began to compose music in every spare minute and says that before he plays anything original, he first hears it in his sleep. In October 2006, a musical genius also appears in Derek Amato after a head injury in a shallow pool collision, and the ability to compose emerges almost instantly after the recovery from the accident. This was due to his ability to see white and black squares, which he perceived as piano keys. If you recall, there was a game that taught you to play the piano. He also says that he feels as if he is not playing himself, but a spirit is taking his place when sitting at the piano. Prepare to be amazed by exceptional memory abilities. On 15 January 1979, a baseball hit Orlando Sorrell's head so hard that he lost consciousness. From that day on, his memory became a superpower. Every goddamn day after the accident, Orlando remembers with absolute accuracy everything around him. What the weather was like 12 days ago what he had for breakfast 10 days ago, absolutely every single detail by the hour. He became the subject of studies and after tests, scientists found that his memorizing skills improved over time instead of the other way around, as is the case with ordinary people. Scientists conclude that such memory is possible for all of us, but our brains deliberately suppress these skills. Quite an interesting fact, don't you think? Continuing with our extraordinary individuals, Tommy McHugh is a vagabond in the full sense of the word. In his early years, he was repeatedly arrested for drug possession, beatings, and theft. At some point, he was eventually put in prison, and when he got out, he started working as a construction worker. One morning, while doing his routine chores, he suffered a brain hemorrhage. A 10-day hospital stay follows, after which Tommy returns home totally different. He starts spending thousands of hours writing poems, painting pictures, and making sculptures, and there is no trace left of his old self. He has no previous contact with art, apart from the tattoos he had done in prison, given that the only time he entered a gallery was to steal something. Until the end of his life, in 2012, he never stopped creating, and in his home, there is something that is the fruit of his creativity in every corner. Let's travel to San Francisco for our next incredible story. In the 1960s, Franco Magnani moved to San Francisco from Italy in hopes of a better life. However, as soon as he arrived in the city, he was struck down by a severe fever that lasted for days. 
After a long illness, Franco suddenly begins to recall the Italian village where he'd grown up as a child and which he has not seen for the past 30 years. His memories are so vivid and so full of detail that he begins to paint them in a series of pictures. His works have incredible accuracy and are spotted and put in a gallery next to actual photographs of the places he paints. So you can really see that his works are amazingly detailed. He captures even the smallest pebbles in the wall and recreates them from memory. This earns him the nickname, the memory artist. He and his wife later established their own gallery in San Francisco. Prepare to be amazed by an individual with extraordinary mathematical abilities. We are very familiar with the expression, what nature gives, it takes away. In the case of Daniel Tammet, it has indeed taken a lot, but it has also given even more. As a child, Daniel suffered a lot. She suffered a series of seizures, had mental disorders, avoided people, and went into panic attacks. As he grew older, though, he acquired some amazing skills. First, he recited the number PI from memory up to the 22,000 decimal with absolutely no error. In seconds, he can do complex calendar calculations to multiply huge numbers from scratch in his mind and says it's all possible because he sees numbers as shapes, colors, and textures. In addition to all that, he also speaks 11 languages perfectly and learned Icelandic in 10 days. This boy writes books in which he describes how he sees the world and how he is able to do all this. He deservedly got named the Mind Man. Now, let's uncover the amazing journey of Ken Walters. The next story is of a man who has suffered a lot. A trivial forklift accident left Ken in a wheelchair. He's been unemployed for 19 years and is supported entirely by the state. His woes continue with two life-threatening heart attacks, severe depression, and finally, a stroke. After his last stay in the hospital, Ken spent recovering far more time than he thought possible. As soon as he wakes up in the hospital, he realizes he has acquired a super skill for drawing. A little later, he goes from a piece of paper to a digital, and this brings him unexpected success. He developed as a graphic designer and was hired by Electronic Arts. Before the stroke, Ken was never interested in art and admits that drawing was just a boring class at school. He explains the superpower he received as an unconscious act and describes the whole process of drawing as something his brain made him do. Let's head to a mysterious case of language acquisition. Learning a foreign language is not a very easy job. Anyone who has tried knows that. Experts believe that Chinese is the hardest of all to learn. I give you Ben McMahon, a boy who had a car accident and stayed in a coma for a week. When he wakes up, to anyone's surprise, he starts speaking Mandarin. His parents are very worried because in the first three days after waking up from his coma, he can't even speak English, which is his mother tongue. In his life, Ben has had no contact with Chinese, and it is a real mystery how he speaks it. His knowledge is absolutely confirmed by Chinese people, who even say that there was a specific old dialect. This is truly a real mystery for medicine. Now, get ready to explore a unique case of sleep deprivation. How long was the longest you went without sleep? I remember my record was somewhere around 48 hours, after which I literally fell asleep standing. Sleep deprivation has serious negatives for the body, and if you stay awake for 72 hours, mental disorders like paranoia and hallucinations are possible. The record for insomnia is currently held by Randy Garner, who stayed awake for 264 hours and then went into hospital for 11 days in a serious condition. However, I just can't help mentioning the Taiwanese farmer who doesn't sleep at all. After a serious illness in 1973, Tyne Gog just could not sleep anymore and that lasted for 49 years up to this day. He says he tried all kinds of traditional and not so traditional methods like drugs, lots of alcohol and meditation, but sleep never came. To train doctors, his condition had no explanation. He is an absolute mystery. And if you're still here, like this video, you get a bonus. The next person I'm going to introduce is also known by the nickname Superhands. I'm presenting you, Kang Trishan. He was born in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and has been making his living for years by selling fried chicken on the streets. In May 2011, on a perfectly ordinary working day, an incident happened. While frying the meat, a small animal distracted him, and he dropped a whole mango into the cooking pot, and so boiling fat poured over him. He goes home, and the next day when he has to go to the doctor, he is surprised to find that there are no burns on his body. Somehow, his skin became invulnerable to this type of burn. So now he uses his hands as kitchen utensils, and without any concern, dips them in the oil to take out the finished product. The frying temperature is about 170 degrees. There are an awful lot of videos on the net that prove his superpowers. 
And there you have it, a glimpse into the incredible world of acquired superpowers. Each of these individuals defied the odds and discovered extraordinary abilities after life-altering accidents. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And remember to subscribe to Fact Franzi Girl for more mind-blowing content. Until next time!